you want to get into robotics and looking for a simple yet impressive project to begin with, then this robot is for you. Building it is a great fun and it's actually pretty cheap. I'll show you how. Well, the base of any robot is a chassis. I got mine from eBay and I'll leave a link in the description for that. If you prefer, you can also make your own. Either way, the chassis has to include a body plus two motors and also a battery holder sometimes. Now we need some sort of a microcontroller to control our robot. I recommend the Arduino Uno because it is relatively cheap and comfortable to use. Attach it to the body using some screws or, if you prefer, you can use a small amount of double-sided tape. We also need a sensor that will help us detect the obstacles, a ping sensor for example. What it does it is calculating the distance from an object by sending bursts of ultrasound towards it and measuring the time it takes to the sound waves to get back. All we have to do next is to attach the sensor to the body. To make life easier, I recommend using a mini breadboard, although you don't have to. If it looks like the robot is staring at you, then you know you've done it right. Now gather some wires and connect the sensor to the Arduino according to this diagram I made. It should look like this when you're done. Unfortunately, the Arduino can't control DC motors by itself because the currents it's generating are too low. Moreover, they cannot be reversed so you can't change the direction of the motor. To solve that, we're gonna use a motor shield which helps the Arduino control DC motors. They're really cheap and I leave a link in the description for them. Now take your motor shield and simply plug it into the Arduino with the sensor's wire crunching inside. The shield has two channels, one for the motors and the second for a power source, in our case batteries. After you've made your connections, your robot is done. All you have to do next is to plug the Arduino to your PC. Now go to the description and download the sketch I made. Then open it. Choose whatever board you're using and the COM port of your Arduino. My happens to be free. Finally, upload the sketch, and after a few seconds, you should see a message stating that the upload is complete.
Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Just to let you know, I've made a little troubleshooting section in the description for problems you might have and how to fix them. And I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you had a great time watching it. And I will see you next time. Bye.